So improving bone health is is a critical part of our overall health and well-being, particularly as we age, as we go through the aging process. Um, basically, one out of three women and one out of five men will have some sort of osteopenia and osteoporosis fracture in their lifetime. So 33% of women, and it doesn't need to be that. If you go through some of the therapies and, and activities that we've talked about today, you can definitely change your risk and reduce that dramatically. It should not be that 20% of men and 33% of women are experiencing these fractures specifically because of bone health. As we've talked about, you can change it, you can move it, and we just need to structure and tweak our routine so that bone health is a part of our goal setting. It's a part of our activities. So by incorporating these strategies, you will really change the, the health, the strength, and the future of your bone health. You know, you start incorporating the strength training, the supplements, blood flow modification, PEMF therapy. You're going to reduce your risk of, fat, of, of fractures and you're going to be taking steps today to support your bone health so that you have a much stronger, much healthier future that lasts further and longer into your life than than um, perhaps you expected, but it can really create a very big change. So I encourage you dive into these things, pick one of the activities that we talked about today and incorporate that into your life over the next week. And you will absolutely improve the strength of your bones. You will start to reverse any of the weakening that you've had and you'll increase the, the cellular health and change the trajectory of all of the activities throughout the, the body and bones. So with that said, I hope that you live a healthy, strong life over the next week and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, everybody.